with 26 points in his last 10 games against them. We are underway with O'Reilly controlling the opening draw. And you've got McDavid and Dreisaitl on the wings. Ekholm and Bouchard defensively. O'Reilly pours in with a backhander that's swatted aside by Campbell. And Evander Kane left at the line. I was thinking it would just allow Nashville a time to get Soros' stick. Here's Forsberg breaking in. A backhander fought off by Campbell. Shoveling it off to Nugent Hopkins. Chipped over to Bouchard. Dreisaitl, his next power play goal will set a team record. Slap pass over to Nugent Hopkins. Side of the net. What time is score? And there it is. Leon Dreisaitl has become the Edmonton Oilers franchise all-time leader in power play goals. 127. That one up. But good movement here on this power play by the Oilers. As they often do, they'll morph into something else. Little give and go down low. Beautiful pass from Nugent Hopkins to Hyman. One touch to Dreisaitl. And he elevates up over top of the glove hand side for a 1-0 lead. Right there, a little bit of a knuckler as he swings through that with the big paddle. Game in overtime. Here's Evangelista. Hits the trailer. Novak is shot. That was an odd by Jack Campbell. One touch gone. Novak up top. Brown and McLeod with pressure up high. Ekholm and Kulak down low. And a glove save made on Novak. And the media was just a little out of sync on this power play. Said it's still a work in progress. New players in there figuring things out, but he wants them to have that. A shot mentality on the battle level of loose pucks. Marshall two on one. Nugent Hopkins a wrist shot off the blocker of Soros. Of course, Nashville coming off its first non-playoff year in nine seasons. Bouchard in front. And Hyman, who had a hat trick in this building a year ago, buries the rebound to make it 2 nothing. And this is what you talk about. A loose puck's up for grabs as Dreisel that fishes it out against two Nashville Predators. And once it's around the world, that shot pass into the slot off Nugent Hopkins. Break to Hyman, and he buries it. Good job here to go to the net. You want to score goals in this league? Something Jay Woodcroft talked about. Go to the slot drop. He said this morning, go to the front of the net. Pucks bounce through there, and Zach Hyman on a bit of a heater. Three in his last two. McDavid to try settle a shot to save. Soros rebound. Parson. The clear to Forsberg. That's a good save by Soros. You know, you have to expect. Ooh. Second chance Forsberg. It was kicked right back to him by Campbell who was able to make the save and then a steal. Parson and what a stop by Jack Campbell. Magnificent work in this first period. Yeah, no question about this little knuckler right into Campbell just bounces right back to him He gets a good chance on the rebound good coverage by McDavid to be all the way back take Parson on the second chance Kulak nudged it ahead now Hyman will streak in left wing Oilers already lead by a deuce looking for more Backhanded backdoor in that spin in. What a feed Hyman the check Vogel the feed across and Nugent Hopkins the finish. What a connected shift on this. Ray out to the slot, but it's the four check on the play. Back down the ice by Hyman. Win a battle. Secondary support by Vogel, who has chemistry with these two players in the past playing with them. And a beautiful pass on the backhand side by Vogel right to Nugent Hopkins. He's not going to miss from there. Up towards center, and McDavid will hand off to CeCe. Poke free by Kane, and now oh, McDavid, what a spin, the recovery, the shot to score! Connor McDavid! It's not real! Never really prepared, be prepared for this, but maybe he is the most. He goes down, spinorama, pops back up, and somehow that puck was loose. I mean, that's an absolute nightmare for that puck to be ahead of him when he gets up. But he attacks with so much speed, doesn't even miss a beat, and then buries it. And many people felt entering this season that would be Nashville's strength. One of the top ten goaltending tandems in the league. Soros departs after. So he wins that race into the offensive zone and comes all the way down. Campbell with a nice little pass. That killed a lot of time on the clock. Open Novak, wrist shot score. Power play goal, Nashville. And Tommy Novak has his second of the year. Was a point of game player in the last three months of the year. This year, that's his second goal of the season already in his fourth game. And a player they're expecting a lot from after what he did last year. But he finds himself all alone. And he said it really kind of made him go back and work on it. Boy, as he picked it up. Nyquist driving on net. What a save! Campbell the Scorpion got it with the right pad. 
And again, it's, it's, it's similar to the first period. Nashville came out aggressively and had some great chances. Look at the save by Campbell. I mean, that's incredible. That should have been in the back of the net. Scorpion save as he gets the right pad up. And again, a little sloppy through the neutral zone. Put it dragging around the diving Kulak. Sprawl, one timer off the post. What a chance and O'Reilly drew iron. The league since he took over despite the 0-2 start. Face off win, Dreisaitl. McDavid will move it over. Wrist shot, blocked right to Dreisaitl who scores. And that power play record is on its way to being stretched out severely. Leon Dreisaitl with two tonight on the man advantage. 5-1 Edmonton. Sits it in there, create that chaos, good things happen. And you get a lucky bounce every once in a while. Now with the speedy McLeod after him, creates a chance for Holloway. McLeod crosses. Connor Brown back to Kulak a drive and a save Lankin and rebound. Connor Brown. Lankin it down and out. He couldn't spin and find the lane there, but now he'll take a wrist shot, redirected into the padding, and Lankin and stretches out to pull it in. You just shake your head. You're okay, like, what are you going to do if you're Nashville? They've tried everything physical, defensive. It doesn't really matter. He finds a way. Iman. He has a goal and two assists, sets up Nugent Hopkins over to Fogel, re-shot, score! And Edmonton extends to a 6-1 lead. They found a lot of time in the offensive zone, they created chances, Fogel with a real nice release here, but it's the work on the forecheck, outwork your opponent, find those loose pucks. And the shot mentality by Fogel, don't try and force something through that, get his head up, he gets this puck, and bang, it's in the back of the net, has a heavy, hard shot. But this trio have played together before. Fogel this morning talked about that. Work free to Derek Ryan, a three-on-one. Ryan with Ernie, dishes one timer to save Lankinen. Yanmark <laughs> filling the lane. Adam Ernie looking for his first as an oiler. Opened up that time. Good shot, good save. Over into the mesh of the glass. Here's that two-on-one, actually a three-on-two that developed. Maybe he wants to see them control this game a little more in this third period as Nashville is not going to go away. They're going to continue to push. Warren Fogel rings one off the post and the rebound fired into a crowd by Nugent Hopkins. He had it blocked. Otherwise, that might have been in for his second goal and fourth point more. But just controlling the, the game a little bit more in their own zone. And I like the shot mentality of Fogel as well. Just come down behind the Parson in, but he was denied by. Kulak and Dreisaitl who golfed it underneath the scoreboard back to center. Fabro, O'Reilly, you'll see a blast. And that is short side, Parson and stopped twice by Campbell. The third time by Jack Campbell's played out. Hard shot by Yossi, little turn up by O'Reilly. He lets this rip. Goes off of Campbell, carries hard off the back wall. And it looks like he's just gonna tuck it in the net. But watch the extension of the left arm, takes it away right in the blue paint. That was three oh, jabs at him. Unbelievable. 6-1, game in the back for Edmonton. Kulak, wrist shot off the post. Around the boards, Leon Dreisa. 23rd career four-point night for him. Back to Broberg. Five seconds on the power play. Kulak from Dreisa. In front, Ryan. And it deflected off Rankin, and then Ernie might have clipped the outside of the post as Nashville does. They've also produced offense, but they've been engaged physically. McDavid to try to settle a quick shot disappearing into the glove of Kevin Lankin. And it was 7.39 to go in the third. Rushes at him, stripped it, and now the Predators with an odd man rush the other way. But dry settle hustles back, creates just a three on three, a save on O'Reilly point blank, who would slip behind Kulak. He's been very good in this control. Kulak attempted clear, bounced off a man, and then Campbell another save. This one might have caught the mass. Cole Smith fired it up top. And he just stares it down. This is when you know you're playing well and you're in the zone. Look at this. And half right off the take melon. It, no problem. That's <laughs> <laughs> how they're designed. Deflected up over top of the glass, off the cage, and rebound poke free. By Yanmark, and that should do it.
The horn goes, and Edmonton has claimed victory number one of this young season behind that man, Jack Campbell.